Well, here I am again today. It's a beautiful day. We enjoyed our Thanksgiving very much. But I'm going to pick up where I left off yesterday. And uh, I'll tell you what. They sent my sweet husband. And I did love him a lot, even though I wanted to divorce him. But Daddy said, you cannot do that. You have made your bed, now lay in it. So... That's what I did. I stayed married. Well, I did love him, you know. Anyway, so anyhow, that time when I found out he was in jail in the brig for going AWOL two times, I quit my job and I caught a bus for Great Lakes where he was in jail. So I got on that bus and I rode and it took me to Chicago. And I didn't know you have a layover in Chicago. So when I got off that bus with my one suitcase, which had an extra pair of shoes and two dresses, some more panties, bloomers. You know, we wore bloomers back then. Anyway, here, let me fix this. You like this one? I wear a different color every day. And I ordered me some of these scarves you can put around here. And it said vintage on them. I ordered them from Amazon. And they're going to be here tomorrow. And I'll have scarves to match my bow. That's going to be my signature. Back to that bus. So I got on that bus. And it was New Year's Day was going to be the next day. And when I pulled into Chicago and I got off that bus, what do I do now? i got to find a place to spend the night. Well, would you believe, and it's a true story, of course, I don't lie, but these man and this woman he had a tie she was very sophisticated looking and she says well hello there did you just get in have you got a place to stay i said no but i'll find a place they said well we have a room you could spend the night and catch your bus again in the morning we do that for people but you know when i was 15 years old my daddy who went to auctions, had bought a book, and I read anything I could lay my hands on at that age. I just loved to read. So it said in this book, white slavery, and how it is right now in the United States of America. Now, when I read that book, I was 15, and I didn't know what, what white slavery was. And I learned, and I read it, and it said, and I had read this, there are people that wait for girls to come off of trains and buses from the country and they offer to help them get a job and keep them and they dope them up and they put them into white slavery and they sell them to men for money. I never knew such a thing. But right off the bat, I knew that this was a couple that was wanting to take me home with them because I was cute as a button. <laughs> I was I was pretty little girl. I only weighed 98 pounds. You've heard these heavy set. Oh boy, you know what happened this morning? I got on that scale after three Thanksgiving dinners and you know what it said? You weigh 156 pounds. I said, oh no, I'm going back right on my diet. Eat less. So I'm doing that today, honest. Anyway. There this couple was, and she was so beautiful, and he was so handsome. And they said, now, we'll help you get a job. And and I said, look, I'm not staying. And besides, thank you very much, but I'll find a place. Well, they had a place at the bus station that said, Traveler's Aid. So I said, excuse me. And so I just walked over to Traveler's Aid. And I said, look, I just got to town, and can you tell me where I can find a place to spend the night? They said, well, of course we can. There's a young women's y -M a young YWM, anyhow, young women's Christian hotel right here and right next door. And we can put you up there and it won't cost you a thing. I said, hallelujah. I was always a Christian. I love the Lord. So anyhow, they gave me a chip. And so I went next door with my suitcase in one hand and my chit in the other, and I checked into the YWCA. And you know what? They put me on the 17th floor. I mean, I had never been on the elevator that went 17 floors. This was exciting, and it was getting kind of late at night. 
So anyhow, I had to share a room with another girl. And she was Jewish. And she was just a lot of fun. I just really enjoyed meeting her. Later on, my one daughter married a Jewish man. She met in Bible school that he was learning more about Jesus because he got converted to Christianity by reading the book. And so he went to Bible school in Springfield, Missouri to learn how to be a Christian and how to live a Christian life. And he still is. And, you know, he's up there in age now. After all, that's been 35 or 40 years ago. But anyway, this Jewish girl and I, it was midnight, New Year's Eve. She said, do you want to stay up? And we'll watch all the lights and the, the thing that's going on in the streets of uh, Chicago this night. I said, okay. So we stood up and watched the lights go by and all the shouting and hallelujah when midnight came. And there I was in Chicago. Well, next morning, I caught a bus to go to Great Lakes. And I ended up, when I got up to Great Lakes, the naval station, at the gate, I said, take me to your leader. I really didn't say it like that. I said, take me to ever who runs this station. And so they said, okay, and they did. I got in the vehicle and I went with them to headquarters. And so I got out and he said, what can we do for you? And I said, well, my husband's here in the brig and I come to stay with him because he won't stay in the Navy. If I'm not with him, I don't think. So I'm going to stay here and try to, you know, help him to do what he should do. And he's in the brig right now. And what should I do? He said, well, you know what? You need a job? I said, yes, I need a job. He said, we have an opening in the laundry right here on the base, and you can have it. He was the boss. So he said, report to work tomorrow. And I said, well, where can I stay? He said, well, over in the adjoining city, Lake Bluff, he said, a lot of people rent one room to Navy ladies. Go rent your room and report for work. So I did, and I had the job. And you know what? It was really strange because I learned in this job, the laundry looked right out on the Navy base and I could see my husband out there being guarded by guards as he picked up trash. And I stayed there that six months working. And he said to me, don't you, I'm going to be sent to California to boot camp again and don't you dare come. I said, ha, ha, ha. I didn't answer him. Reckon what I did. Y'all can guess and tune in tomorrow and see what I did. I'm having so much fun doing this, and thank you for watching. It seems like every time I do one of these, I can't shut up. I just have so much fun. <laughs> but God is good, and I've had, I've had a wonderful life. I've had a lot of sorrow, but you know the Lord has always got me through it one way or the other. So here I am again. God bless y'all. I love you. And can you believe all these people? They're watching my stories. But I, I want to do this. It's just enjoyment for a 90-year-old woman to sit down and do this kind of stuff. Right with her iPad, right in her kitchen. So, God bless you. Talk to y'all again soon. Bye-bye.